Hiya folks, today we're playing the full version of Summer in Mara, an island farming game where you can also sail the seas to find other islands bustling with life. Now you may have played the free prologue demo, that takes place several years before the main game and serves as the tutorial. Um, but in this Summer of Mara gameplay video we'll pick up the full story now I've grown into an 11 year old girl who has to take care of the island all by myself. And the best part is, Tom Nook won't see a goddamn penny. Right, so let's jump into the main game. Uh, thanks to Shibig for the key. They're the devs who made Dayland. Ah ha ha! A game I covered back in 2018 where you were the prince of a very tiny planet. Uh, do check out my playlist on that game. Right, okay, so let's get up and about. It's already very late, so we probably should like jump off here. We have got a quest to perform. Hang on, let's just do a bit of shaky poos. Let's get ourselves some seeds. Uh, we're supposed to be getting some juice. Collect some berries from the wild bushes. We probably should be going to bed soon, to be quite honest. So, um, I am using controller for this, but you can use mouse and keyboard. Weirdly enough, I found controller to be uh, superior for this game. I'm not quite sure why. No, normally, I think I prefer mouse and keyboard for this. But I think a lot of the menus do seem to be more designed for controller, so that's a bit helpful to use that instead. Right, anyway. Okay, right, yep, yep, yep. I just need to mash the berries, and that's it. So even though we are post-tutorial, there's still a few sort of like starter quests. And really this game is just kind of like lead you along. It's not like um, immediately an open world game. Um, there's a story to follow and eventually we'll go onto a new island, which is like a, a little city. Anyway, we need to make some juice. <laughs> it's tasty, but I've only been eating wild fruits lately. I should plant the fields or take a nap. I must prepare the fields and plant and harvest. Oof, work is exhausting. Right, so we've got a lot to do. But, I mean, it's still very late, but I mean, who cares? Um, I should, probably should have um, done the intro a bit quicker. <laughs> but shush. Right, okay, so we actually have got, I've, I've gone too far this time. I do probably need to get up my hoe. Oh, no, I am actually exhausted. And I'll probably be sent to bed with no tea. Here we go. See, normally you start very early in the morning and by the, by the time it gets to the evening that's when you go to bed. But because that was the first day, um, time acts a bit weirdly. But we haven't really got a huge amount of energy, but I can eat um, or drink to f fill myself up again. Right. Do I have a hoe? Yes, I actually do. So let's start planting some stuffs. Get me hoe out, do the, th the thing, plant the seeds. I've already got five seeds by the looks of it, which is nice. And that'll take five days to grow. Unless we water them, in which case that'll speed things up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Whatevs. Um. So, we need to make a new hammer to make a well. I kind of like would, wouldn't mind doing a little bit of extra hoeing. Since we've got the seeds, I think it might be wise. Do, 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 do. To start with, you do... Oh god, already? Blimey. I'm going to fall over dead again. If I'm not careful. Uh, let's see if I've actually got anything I can actually eat. Uh, I've got some blackberry juice. I think I'll actually drink this. Or, or eat it. One of the two. That gives me back food. It also gives me back a little bit of energy. Uh, let's get the water out for the lads. Where's the well? Oh yes, I've got to make it, haven't I? First of all, let's tonk it. And now we will need to build the well. So metal hammer. A little bit of light crafting action. It will be useful for building and smashing stones to collect materials. But I need something else. Ah, I know, a bucket. I have to make a bucket. So if you ever play the prologue, you've basically gone back to square one here. In fact, worse than square one, because you've got to start afresh. Apparently I've been lazy for the last few years doing now. Wow, a lot of stuff there. So those are all, all those recipes have now been added. And now I just need to go and sort out my bucket making quest. In fact, I've just got to go literally back into there. Although I think I might need, need to gather some wood first. Yes, I need two woods. Let's go and get some of that. I'm going to be very lazy and just chop this down here. I really should replant everything I chop down. The prologue tells me so. So let's do that. Let's get my hoe out. Plant that. 
And there was another one, so let's do that. If you do see me slide around a little bit when I'm static, that's simply because there's no, there's hardly any dead zone on the M controls, and this um, the, the the gamepad I'm using doesn't quite reset to the center. It's not my fault, I promise. I think I'm actually eating orange. Oh, that's actually planting it. Oh, yes, you can plant oranges as well. Yes, let's do that. And also get another one of these. Now we'll eat these ones. There we go. And that one as well. That gives us just that extra bit of energy that we will be needing. Right, did I get enough wood? We shall soon see. Yes. Now we need a well, a hole in the ground, wood and stone. And also need some stone from the mines. For there is mines in this game. <laughs> I've got to go... My 11-year-old girl is going down the pit. Anyway, but first let's get some... Oh, hello. Seed. Let's get some... Have I got the right... No, I haven't actually got the right tool out. Let's get some more wood. Grab, 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 grab. And now let's run over here. So the island... Just a very quick look at the island. Over there is a dead boat, which we should... We will need to repair quite soon. Over there is just some random nonsense that, at the moment, isn't really anything. Here is the Mountain of Dreams, or whatever it is. Inside here, you'll find a cave. Let's, um... Automatically switches to the right um, tool here. So we are using the hammer here. I've got to keep an eye on my energy here. I won't bother getting any copper. I've got plenty of stone, though. If you go up to the top there, there's a kind of like a, a shrine and a... Hang on, let me show you. <laughs> we'll probably be going up there soon enough anyway, but... Ah, yes, I probably do need to eat. Running around is very energy-consuming. Oh god, this is this is the long way around. You don't need to, you can you can be more direct than this. Yes, yeah, so there's a little shriny poos. Where is it? There. And over here, there's like a torch you can light. And over there, there's the mystery cave thing, which we can't open. That's where you also get fuel for your boat. Weirdly. Anyway, we've got the stone. We've got the wood. Hopefully, let's go and build our well. Ha! In the prologue, there's also a bonus well around here. There's also a chicken coop and a piggery and all sorts of things, but they will come with time. We can't open that just yet, so let's not do that. Right, hopefully we should be able to build a well here. So, what do we need? Oh, we need we need three more woods. Oh dear, that's a lot of woods. There we go. We'll go over here because let's um, shake the tree first. In fact, we don't need to. It sh does it automatically. And again, we need some bloody energy. I think it's because I'm doing, going through this quite quickly, because I've, I've played the first few hours of this before already. Uh, and so I think um, normally, if you're like taking your time and not knowing what you're doing, um, you'll en end up sleeping anyway, just because it will turn to night. At the moment, it's nearly 4pm, according to the top right. I should... Oh, don't, I don't want to chop the tree down. <laughs> Never mind. Let's put the axe away. Let's go and grab the grapes. All the things like the oranges and the grapes do regrow, but they do take a few days. Right, I think I think I can now probably chop one more tree down. A good tree, none of your orange trees. And hopefully we'll have enough to build the well. Yeah, we've got plenty now. One last bit of scran. I can remember the keys. I really obviously should be turning this into actual proper prepared food to really make the most of it. But that'll come properly with time, I think. So let's now hopefully get this well sorted. Let's put it let's put it nice and close to the crops, like there-ish. Careful. <laughs> thank you, mountain. Thank you, tree. I hope you like this well I made. Hmm. Now let's water everything. Excellent stuff. So that water refills, um, but only when it rains. 
Um, you get three belts, three bouts of water from it from the well before you have to refill it. I wonder if there are other islands. But the fountain provides no fuel now, and the boat is still broken. Never mind. I'll go to the beach and collect the seashells. Blah de blah. So our new mission is to go and do that. I do actually need to water everything else. Unfortunately, that hot tutorial action made it so that I, I lost the bucket. Um, but this time, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't mean that I've used up an extra load of water, though. Anyway, that's all. I've um, watered those. So you've seen the um, the way... And once you've watered it, it goes down from five days to four days. So essentially, you're doubling their growth speed. Oh, the water's about to go. There it goes. Right, well, since it's now um, getting towards the evening, I'm going to actually take a bit of a sleep, a sleep because otherwise... Going round and collecting shells is going to tire me out. I don't want to fall over. Right, brand new day. There's, that's now gone down to three. I'm also going to do some watering. You literally just need to stand on it for a second and it will water. You don't need to wait for the circle to fill up. So that's down to two now. Anyway, let's run around so that the water gets all tipped out. We're so irresponsible. I still don't know how the chickens from the chicken coop learned to fly. Hmm... Well, they've gone now. I ate them for supper. Nice little bit of fried chicken. Right, seashells. I'm going to go and um, see some seashells on the seashore. Maybe even sell some. You can sell it. All these seashells that you do gather, you can sell later on, but not here. You have to go to a different island. So, I just... Oh, hello. Um, yeah, yeah, my grandmother. She's the um, the old bird from the tutorial. Um, yeah, but she's she's long gone. Alas, there's actually a shrine to her. So you can pay your respects. You can press F. <laughs> Get you. That's a fishing spot. That's where you can catch that kind of a fish. Um, different fishing spots allow you to catch different fish, but it's always the same fish at a particular spot. I think. As far as I've, as far as I've ascertained so far from my time fishing. There's loads of different types of fish, but on the starting island, what an exhausting day. All seagulls are lazy. God damn it. He's having a go at the birds now. Also, look, if you go over here. Ha! Over here. Over here. And over here. Bonus shell. You don't want to fall in the water? Although it doesn't really matter too much on the way back. You do have limited oxygen. If you do run out, you get bunged back onto shore. Or back onto the boat, sometimes. Uh, depending. So it's no huge loss. It's worth repeating, if you run everywhere, you do lose energy quite quickly. But it's okay, we had a nice kip last night, so all's to the good. Something fascinating will happen soon. That's the game's way of saying you've got to wait a bit. And just do stuff. Go gather your seashells and all that. And you can... I can't remember where, when it is you actually start building the boat. But let's have a look. I don't think we can do anything. We can't interact with this just yet. Bird! Common. Bloody common gull, if you ask me. Oh, another seashell. Don't think we really need to keep on collecting them. But I mean, the reason why we did is just to prove that you can actually do it. But if you actually do investigate all the way around the place, you will find a few extra things under the fishing spot. That one can get octopi, or octopus, as it's technically known in plural form. And there's also some bonus ore to mine down here. So if you do actually run out in the cave, you can come down here and fill your boots with stones, which is probably a bad idea if you go swimming. Also, a little shelly poo is right in the very edge of everything. We don't really want to go any further away. Well, let's get some of that. Ha! So if you play games like in My Time at Porsche and stuff like that, you'll feel instantly at home here. Although this is um, you you have your lonely little island. If you want if you want company, you have to go elsewhere. However, we do get someone turning up relatively soon if, um, in the game. But for now, I think the first few days um, start to become quite a bit like I'm just get used to just find your feet really. Just get used to chopping wood and doing all kinds of stuff. So actually, let's take the opportunity to do some chopping because we will need plenty of wood. And uh, we will need wood, for instance, for the boat repair. I think we need to... We'll get recipes as well, like planks. You will notice I am chopping a lot of trees down. And not replanting them. I will... I prefer to do that, that all in one go. 
But the tutorial is very firm. Make sure that you do uh, replant everything, otherwise you will have no wood, I guess. The other thing is, I like to chop trees from far away and then replant them close to the house. Efficiency! Right, let's do it. Let's just bung them down here somewhere. Oh, no, we actually need to get our hoe out. Um, we can plant one there. This is a bit of a fiddly way of doing it. Um, plant down there. And over here. See, so there's going to be a right old forest over here. Hard day's work there. I've gathered a bit more wood. A few more bits of stone and stuff like that. So I think it's time for a bit of a kip. I should really make some fruit, juice and stuff like that as well. Um. What's that by the beach? Maybe a ship? Right, so we've got a night quest, which is just like an, in an interruption to our night sleep, because something important is sort of going to happen. Although it's more foreshadowing this. Ah. Out here, there's a light. Let's swim towards it. What can possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh, what a beautiful light. Little light, come little light. Don't be afraid. Are you lost? Can I help you? Um... Come on, don't be shy. It's gone. No. Well, fine. Um... I'm sure Neo and Neo know something about the light I saw at night. They see everything from above. Although I should br first bring them a food offering. I hope some oranges will be enough. Right, so those statues we saw earlier, they do have some function. They're not just pretty faces. Or ugly big stone faces, anyway. Oh, I don't, I don't cut it down. Don't have your axe equipped at all times, is my advice. So what I need to do is gather some oranges. I don't think I've got any other oranges. Other than the ones I'm getting now. Oh, they're a bit mean, I've only got two oranges. Oh, I've only got six oranges, okay, that's fine. Let's go upstairs. Use the shortcut. Offering. Very Zelda. I hope you like it. You're not all that talkative, are you? Neo, Nio, I am worried. I saw a light. I don't know what it means. I hope you'll keep watch from up here. If you see anything, you know what to do. Although I should like the fire. It hasn't been lit for a long time. That's fine. We don't need to go to the bottom. We just need to find the closest torch. There. I'm going to automatically get a little torch action. If you see in the bottom left, it does actually extinguish quite quickly. So we have to run like the clappers. It's been a long time since I lit this flame. You've got a new structure. Fire. Ooh. Also a nice little bit of a sit. If you really want. That makes me dizzy. And so we haven't got a, a game. We haven't got a quest at the moment. We just have to do what we want for a while. Get the island in ship shape, so to speak. We can't do anything about the boat just yet, sadly. We can go fishing. Let's go fishing. Because then we can turn that into delicious food, which we will need quite soon. A few wormy poos. I think that replenishes after a while. And we need worms, and we're going to get... I think this is a catfish. So you have to press the button at the right time. Donk. And then you've got to do this. Very stardew, but from the side. That one is incredibly easy. Other ones, not so much. And you can't overfish a lake. Anyway, I have a fish. So it would be rude not to go and cook it, I guess. However, let's get our little chopper out. Do, 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 do. Ba, 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 ba. We do need a lot of wood, <laughs> basically. Oh, some resin. Right, kitchen. Let's get the yummy fish. It's not that yummy. It's a badly remembered recipe, that apparently. We saw that in the prologue. Right, that's done all those that we can. Anything else we need to do? Not really. Well, in fact, not at all. So we don't really need to do much else today. We don't have any water from the well, sadly. That is now that is now gone. And won't now refill until the rain. It's not, it's not a very good well. It literally does nothing. 
um, unless the rain falls, which basically makes it a barrel rather than a well. It's not great. It's not it's not that useful, but what the hell. Anyway, tomorrow our carrots will be grown, and that'll be nice, won't it? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to bed really early, uh, because there's not a huge amount I need to do now. But now we should also get a, a special event tonight. Here we go. So we essentially have a bit of a repeat of last night. The fire is still lit upon the mountain. Ha! Let's go and say hello to Matey Pie. Nice hot swimming action. Little light, little light. Come, please. I want to help you. I'm sure you're lost. Nobody else has come to this island. Little light. Wow, what a whimsical light. Well, I better go to sleep. But, but, things will move on at some point. Hopefully, <laughs> sooner rather than later. Let's harvest some crops. Unfortunately, we don't have any seeds anymore, but we do have the carrots. Which we can shove in our gobs and make some juice out of it. Or whatever. But yeah, we, we won't be able to do it much with the fields at the moment. So I think we're, we're basically limited to five or four plots at first. Because we at the moment we cannot do any clearing up because we need better tools all around. Like hoes and hammers and all sorts of things. Now, if we go over here... Oh, careful. No fall damage. Welcome to the Savage Lands. <laughs> uh, okay, so now let's talk to you. You with a little light we saw. Only this time you're in the day. Ha! Hello, were you yesterday's little light? Are you lost? Um, maybe you don't understand me. Are you alone? Are you hungry? Of course. Don't worry, I'll bring you some delicious juice. Don't starve to death, please. I'll be right back. So, I don't suppose I have any orange juice already, do I? No, I have some blackberry juice. Ha! Well, we better go and do something then. All the crafting has to be done all the way over here. Kind of wish I'd built this bloody hut in the centre of the island, really. <laughs> right, so we'll need... Oh, we need two more oranges. Okay, that's fine. We have been growing them. There's one over here. Oh, there's two over here. That makes things easy. As I say, put trees and things as close to the house as you can. It makes things a lot easier. I mean, this is a very chill game. I'm going through it at a bit of a pace, simply because um, I want to show you as much as I can with the time we've got. But I think when you pl if you actually play this yourself, you will probably end up just chilling out a bit more than I am. And possibly not using the run button all the time. <laughs> Anyway, let's make sure that we get around from the back. I don't think you can actually jump in onto the rock from the water itself. I hope it's not too acidic. Yeah, yeah, always used to add some sugar cubes, but I ran out of those. Do you need anything else? Still can't talk. Come on, try talking. Say Kua. I'm Kua. Maybe you don't understand me. You do understand me, that's good. We have to find a way of communicating. I know, you can draw. Do you know how to draw? I'm sure my wax crayons are somewhere. Maybe they're inside Year's chest. I know I shouldn't run around in there. However, this is an emergency. So there's the key. Ha! Oh. So we just need to quickly make this. So you do need to, like, accept in this game that there are going to be a lot of kind of fetch quests and requests to grow things for people to actually advance plot lines. Um, it's all about helping people out, essentially. It tells you that. A lot of my paintings are in here, and old stuff. Here are some of Yaya's notes. An address and a name are written down. Say me, Lighthouse of Carlis. I don't know who this is. There are more names, but they're crossed out. Yeah, whatever. Let's see. Ah, here are the crayons. Now I have to make a board to draw on. Maybe with a plank of wood. New recipe. So we just need to go into here. I've been collecting lots of wood, so we should be able to do this quite quickly. Whilst we're here, we, I might actually turn all the rest of my wood into boards. Um, right. Right trigger. To um, increase to six. Now, since last time I played it, actually, they've, um, they've corrected a bug where you couldn't actually do this using controller, but good to see they've corrected that. I had to use keyboard previously. Anyway, let's make all this wood. 
So this is a pre-release, so there might, it still may change further by the time this actually comes out on the uh, 16th of June. That's seven boards. I will need boards later to make my boat. Um, if you do enjoy this, by the way, do check out my Patreon and my Buy Me A Coffee. Um, links on the screen. If you want to support us and keep us finding it bet bigger and better new indie games and all that sort of stuff. Um, anyway, let's get on with the story. Also, do let me know if you want me to continue playing this, actually, because I think I probably will want to record a bit more. Because I want to show you the island, the main island, or the big local city type thing. Anyway, let's see. I have so many questions. Do you like chocolate? Okay, that's good. Are you lost? Oh, that's sad. Do you know how to get back home? Meaning you know how to get back home, but you can't. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Why can't you go back? Did somebody hurt you? I'm sure we can figure it out. Or you can stay here and live with me. I don't have chocolate. But I do have all the orange juice you could want. <laughs> oh, you don't want to stay. Oh. What do you want to do? I can't take you with the boat. It doesn't work. I can't get off the island. But I could fix the boat. The fountain is dry. Oh no. You can do something about the fountain? Let's go check it. What's your name? Smiley face. Of course! Your name is Napopo! Yo, now go to the fountain. I'll go for the deposit. It should be on the boat. And stuff. Right, so now... A little bit of swimming action. So let's finish off just by... I think we'll be, hopefully we'll be able to repair the boat and we'll be able to take our first steps into the ocean. Ignore that. So we need to go back to the fountain at the mayor's residence. Through here. So I've mined out this stone. It's started to grow back already, which is good to see. I took all the copper. Ooh. Oh, look, you beat me. Well done. I don't have anything I can use to collect liquid from the fountain. Huh. Well. Oh. What have I forgot? Oh. <laughs> What have I forgotten? Oh, bollocks. I forgot to get the tank. Anyway, let's pay our respect quickly to, to our grandmother. Right, back to the boat, finally. And we have some line, and I think we also, in, in the midst of all that, got us the canister. The old tank, there we go, perfect. I've also taken this opportunity to quickly get some more wood and some more boards. Anyway, now we'll go back through the tunnel. I'm running out of energy here, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. Do 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 do. There's a very Studio Ghibli feel about this, as I'm sure you've probably twigged by now. Right, filling that up. I fill the tank. Wow, that was pretty. Napopo, who are you? A tree. Um, a priest. A tree priest. Me. Sad me. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. That means people hurt your family. That We will find them and they'll see. I'm going to fix the boat and we'll go find them. First, make new oars, then patch up the holes, and last, decorate the deck. Let's go get wood. <laughs> Shush. Right, off we go. Let's go round the side for no reason. I'm afraid we're going through that cave. Right, so let's see what we need. We'll go up to the boat and just see exactly what's what. You really do bounce all over the place in this. So we still need the oars, of course. So we've got the metal. Oh, we only need regular wood. Oh, bloody hell. I made planks. <laughs> right, the next day. Still haven't got any crops to do anything with, sadly. Let's just see what these oars are all about. So these require oh, two wood and one board each. So I think I can make two of these. And I think that's probably all we need. How much wood have I got? Got four wood. Was that enough? I've already forgotten how much we need for the, for the actual boat build. I shall quickly do the old chopper roo here. Do need quite a bit of wood at first. Okay. Oh, I can also get some herbs. 
Uh, this should do it. Oh, blimey. Everything is ready to set sail. But first, I have to check if all the field crops have been watered. We don't have any. And pick up the seashells on the western beach. Whatever. Yeah, get moving, it basically means. What if, what if I leave and something happens to me? I don't know. I'm a bit scared. I know that since I'm with you, but... No, do you know the place we're heading to? Carlis? I don't know who this Sammy is. The one Yaya used to write to. What are we going to do out there? I don't think that Yaya would have let me go. Okay, okay. So essentially, that lad, Napopo, is going to guide me. Every time we go on the boat, um, that thing will be on our bow. And we can repair the pier. It's not essential, though. That requires... That's all the boards. That's what I was thinking of when I was making all that board. The, the rope needs thread, though. And we can't actually get rope just yet. But we can jump on the boat. And we can go sailing. Controls are fairly simple. And you can also go to sleep on here, if you like. Oh god, <laughs> I say simple. So if you look in the bottom right, there's the compass. Oh, east, west and south are all locked at the moment, but we can go north. Just to orient ourselves a bit correctly. Look, do a 360 here. And as soon as we get out on the, um, on the edge of the compass, we'll actually go to a new region. Do, do, do. And there we are. Now we've basically entered a new region, so there's there's other boats. Ah! Oh, careful! Oh, I'm a, I'm a joy rider. And yes, through the haze, we have a new island, Balboa. No, not Balboa. Um, um, Carlis. Which is absolutely chocked full of people. But we've run out of time in this video, so hopefully we'll, um, if people do enjoy this, we'll pick this up and we'll play some more of this really rather charming, wonderful summary game. Thanks for watching, do subscribe to the channel to be notified when new stuff goes live, about all the latest and best new indie games around. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.